before Ramadan and during Ramadan, even after Ramadan. So can you elaborate a bit more? Okay, I'll try to do it quickly, I, even though I wanted to mention it. Uh, the character, Ikhwan, and the manners, uh, and what we say, what we do, how we say, how we do, that's important even outside Ramadan. So it doesn't mean today is 30th of Shahbar, I can abuse you, but tomorrow, I'm very sorry for that. You know, I'll be nice to you, and then the late time I start abusing again. Yeah, it's not correct. Yeah? Because Ramadan is what? Ramadan doesn't bring anything new to our lives, except the fasting, and even that we should try and do before Ramadan and after Ramadan. Yeah? But it gives us an opportunity to improve ourselves. That is why the Prophet said, مَن لَمْ يَدَحْ أَوْلَ الزُّورِ وَالْعَمَلِ بِهِ وَالْجَهْلِ فليس لله حاجة في أن يدع طعامه شرابه. That whoever doesn't leave all the zur, it includes everything. Talking evil, talking swearing, talk, يعني saying bad things which Allah doesn't like, backbiting. All of that is included. That doesn't mean you can do them outside Ramadan, but especially to train ourselves because you see Ramadan is a training school for us. We must take this opportunity to improve our tongue to learn nice things, learn nice expressions. May Allah give you barakah. Learn that. It costs you nothing. Barakallahu feek. Allah yahfadu. Subhanallah, the Prophet from Ikhwan, look at the ahadith, look, read Bukhari, Muslim, Sunan Abu Dawud, all of them, you find how many times he used to praise the Sahaba. He says, Inna ka rajulun min ahli al-jannah, to some of them. Abu Ubaid ibn al-Jarrah, radiallahu anhu, he is Aminu Hadi al Ummah. He is the most trustworthy of this Ummah. Do you believe that Abu Bakr you can't trust him? Of course you can. He is better than Abu Ubaidah. But he encourages the people. The Prophet psychologically, it's very important. For us, subhanAllah, we say, Brother, mashallah, you've done well. He says, I'll throw some dust in you now. Because the Prophet said, First of all, this person doesn't know the Lugha. Why? Because Maddah means the person who constantly praises. Every time he Mashallah, the best. You know. Second time he meets, oh, you're the best. You get tired of it. You feel like... <laughs> it's not correct. It spoils your character. So Maddah Fahal, Sighat Mubalaha. In the Arabic language, Maddah, like Kazab. Person who constantly lies. Now, maddah. Fi ujuhil maddahin. Yani if someone always praises, it's not correct. But for us to praise sometimes, once a month, once a week, once, it's good. The person is to do it. Because we encourage each other. Now, the Sahaba used to do it between themselves because they understood it from the Prophet. Now, if you get once in ten years, that's good. Someone says, oh, you know, it was okay. MashaAllah, it's great praise, you know. Ten years ago, he praised me as well. Because we have to know that it's nothing to do yani, with over-exaggerating. No, we just good manners. May Allah protect you, may Allah be with you, may Allah give you tawfiq. All of that we must learn. Otherwise, we will be like that Arabic who said, I never kiss my children. So the person, what did he say? MashaAllah, it's good. He didn't say that. The person said, what can I do if Allah took rahmah from your heart? Some people would say, this is very harsh to say that. But this is necessary for the people to realize that you have to have rahmah. So in, in Ramadan, we have to avoid qawl al -zur. And acting on qawl al -zur. Amal bihi. Now, someone says, brother said this about you. Namima, he brought. Those, of course, are shayateen al -ins, unfortunately. They should say good things. Brother said this about you, good. No, they say, brother said you are useless. Or sister said this. That's shatinu means. Well, jahl. Jahl includes many things as well. Be behaving like stupid, silly or ignorant. No? Then Allah doesn't need that he leaves his fasting and his food and his day. That doesn't mean he can stop fasting. Some people believe, oh, I did riba, I have now to break the fast. There are some people who believe it. It's not correct. I mean, right, uh, said the swear word, F word, or something like that. So I, I have to break my fast. No, you should do tawbah and carry on with your fast. Your fast is not affected by that. 
Yeah, he is affected, but he's not broken. So therefore, we should try and be as nice as possible to one another. We should learn that. Because in Ramadan, Ikhwan, we're getting tired, we're getting hungry. In my country, they say a hungry man is an angry man. Yeah. So when you're hungry, sometimes you like need to eat. You know, I'm thirsty. And this guy wants me to be good to him. And that is the challenge. Yes, you're hungry, you're thirsty, and you need to read Quran, and you need to be nice to that man. And you need to be nice to brothers and sisters. Now, that's the challenge. But the, the Ramadan is a month of challenges. Now, no, no, no. Smoking. Smoking. Yes, because you mentioned about Now, as far as I know, they said it breaks the fast. Now, and that's what I believe. It breaks the fast. Now. How about brushing the teeth in the morning? Brushing the teeth is okay because you don't eat it normally. <laughs> and you don't swallow it. Like, for example, you would use miswak. Now, miswak is permissible to be used before the wall and after the wall. Because we used to use it. Nah? And also, if you kiss your wife or you touch her, that doesn't break your fast. Because the person used to do it. But, very important but, if you think that, that you can't stop at that and it's gonna escalate, like brother said, and he, especially, of course, we know the hadith when the person allowed one man and one man didn't allow. Because the other one, one one's old man, and the other was a young man. So there are some old men, mashallah, I mean. <laughs> they can uh, give some young men uh, run for their money. <laughs> now, so if that old man is like a young man, he can't kiss his wife because he can't stop them. And it can carry on until they break the fast. That's not allowed. But if he can control himself, some young people, mashallah, I don't know if they exist, but some of them, they can control themselves. No? So if you can control, that's why Aisha radiallahu anha, she said, وَكَانَ أَمْلَكَ كُمْ لِإِرْبِهِ And Irb, the ulama said, is haja or udu or يعني, shahwa al-jinsiyya, your sexual desire or your private parts. He was the one who controlled his desire more than any one of you, the Prophet He used to kiss and fast, he used to hug them and fast. No? So some said, there's a difference if you kiss your wife with desire and without desire. When, when is your kiss without desire? When is it? When you say, oh, good, good night or something? I don't know. Allah A'lam. Yani, you have to see. Normally you kiss your wife, you have some desire. No? As far as I know. <laughs> now, so, yani, some ulama, yani, they, Allah, they say things which sometimes yani, may not be correct, but Allah, maybe you kiss without desire, that's true. But what I'm saying is that that doesn't break your fast. Allah, um, what's your advice to the people who smoke and uh, then they break their fast with smoking and then, like, during the time, uh, they go outside and smoke as well? Yeah, and generally, you know, Juan, smoking is a very difficult habit to get rid of. <coughs> Alhamdulillah, I didn't smoke, but I know many people who smoke and smoked before, and they say it's very difficult to get rid of. That's why tobacco is like a The tobacco companies, you know, for them is nothing if they get charged with even $10 billion fine. Because they raised LP, <coughs> the price of the packet of cigarettes, and they paid around for praying, but there are many places for talking. Yeah? So you can talk somewhere else. So may Allah make it easy for those brothers who smoke to get rid of smoking because it's very difficult.